A Melbourne man's generosity has led to an amazing chain of kidney transplants across two states. Surgeons worked for hours to remove organs from seven donors and give seven desperately ill recipients a second chance at life. Eleanor and Veronica are so close, one sister gave up a kidney to ensure the other would receive a healthy one. To know that I've helped not only Veronica but someone else is really kind of rewarding. Veronica suffered chronic renal disease for 19 years. The sisters are involved in Australia's largest kidney exchange program. It was all possible because of CFA volunteer Paul Bannon, who was prepared to give a kidney to a mate. When an organ became available from a deceased donor, Paul agreed to give his kidney to a complete stranger. The fact that I've now given it to somebody else who I don't know, I don't see there's a difference. Paul's donor kidney started the ball rolling, followed by another three Victorians and three donors from New South Wales having their kidneys transplanted into four patients in New South Wales and three in Victoria. The operations were carried out over 12 hours at the Royal Melbourne Hospital, the Austin and the Monash Medical Centre and three Sydney hospitals. Hundreds of hours were spent planning the operations and hundreds of medical staff ensured they ran smoothly, except for one small hiccup. The kidney destined for Veronica was delayed on a flight from New South Wales. When the plane with it, we were told, was turned back, uh, that became a little bit more of a, an issue. And the delay, I mean, initially I thought, oh my God, I'm going to miss out on a kidney. She didn't miss out and is now preparing for a very special Christmas with her sister. It's a no-brainer. I'd do it for her and I knew Eleanor would do it for me, yeah. Karen O'Sullivan, 7 News.